It is the year 1956. In Sao Paulo, Brazil, in the Basilica of the Carmelites of the Ancient Observance, a young man meets the Third Order of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Mount Carmel. João Claudius, accompanied by some young companions, decides to put into practice the evangelical counsels, thus undertaking a journey of dedication which will be the beginning of one of the lay movements of our century devoted to evangelization. Beginning in 1971, an ancient Benedictine monastery in Sao Paulo would become the first house of community life of the heralds of the gospel. There, liturgical life, individual prayer, and the formation of the members is harmonized thanks to the simultaneous union of contemplative and active life. Based on the spirituality of Saint Louis Marie Grignon de Montfort, they succeeded in creating a movement of consecrated lay people with an intense interior life, ready to announce with joy the beauty of the message of Christ. Everything through the intercession of Mary, Mother and Mediatrix of Grace. The first pontifical approval was given in 2001 by Saint John Paul II. Thus, the International Association of Faithful Heralds of the Gospel was born in the Universal Church. The habit worn by the heralds was created by their founder with the goal of communicating, by its symbolism, the contemplative and missionary ideal of their charism. Just as the boots demonstrate their readiness to travel throughout the world to spread the good news, and the hood, the raising of their gaze towards the horizons of the faith, the entire habit seeks to transmit the fascination for the beauty of the gospel message in an epoch so sensitive to signs of identity and belonging. The cross of St. James shows the ideal of sacrifice and the joy of the resurrection. The chain is a symbol of the freedom of the children of God who, like Mary, submit themselves to the divine will in a spirit of slavery of love. The rosary, on the other hand, highlights the importance of this Marian devotion, an excellent combination of vocal and mental prayer on the mysteries of the life of Jesus and Mary. Through Mary, we arrive to Jesus, mediator between God and men. Eucharistic devotion, whether it be in daily participation at the Holy Mass or during adoration, which is perpetual in several herald houses, is the source of spiritual strength for all evangelization. The Eucharist is truly the heart of the heralds of the gospel spiritually. Eucharist, Mary, Papacy. Without an effective and effective union with the Holy Father and Holy Mother Church, any evangelizing activity would be like a branch severed from the tree. This is why one finds the voice of the popes in the very first section of Heralds of the Gospel magazine. The emblem of the heralds has three elements constituting the pillars of the movement, which has developed and now extends across five continents, so as to fulfill the counsel of the resurrected Christ. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to the whole creation. Mark 16:15. Monsignor Juan Cla began his apostolate as a layperson. The development of the work gave rise to the express need for a pastoral ministry. And so it was that, along with 14 companions, he received priestly ordination in the same Carmelite church in Sao Paulo from a Carmelite bishop giving birth to a new dimension to the herald's charism. Vocations to the Clerical State From this tree planted within the fertile soil of the Holy Church arose a clerical expression of the charism of the heralds of the gospel. 
The Clerical Society Virgo Flos Carmeli, approved by Benedict the Sixteenth in 2009. The herald priests collaborate with the bishops and the pastors in the distribution of the sacraments and the proclamation of the word. They are also chaplains for the heralds of the gospel communities. Nevertheless, the fecundity of this charism was yet completely realized. Just as Jesus, in his apostolate, was accompanied by Mary and the other women who cooperated in the proclamation of the kingdom, likewise in the 21st century, numerous young ladies wish to follow Christ through the charism of the heralds of the gospel. As a consequence, the Society of Apolistic Life Regina Virginum arose recognized in the Universal Church by Benedict XVI. In 2008, the Holy Father granted to Monsignor Joan Cla the title of Honorary Canon of St. Mary Major. Thus underlying his appreciation of the Catholic witness demonstrated by the heralds in five continents. What do the heralds do? Seeking to imitate Jesus, who did good everywhere he went, the heralds embark upon the path of the proclamation of the kingdom and speak to people of every age. Through the Future and Life Project, the heralds aim at strengthening the Christian formation of today's youth, so neglected in so many sectors of our modern globalized society. For families more interested in a complete education, the Heralds of the Gospel run Catholic schools characterized by an environment supporting the development of the personality and the flourishing of the most varied vocations. For the formation of these apostles of the 21st century, the heralds erect houses of formation and institutes of theology, philosophy, and religious studies. The knowledge of the doctrine of the church in the magisterium is encouraged, thanks to the formation of evangelizers and ministers capable of laboring in the harvest of the Lord wherever they are sent by their superiors. To this end, the founder of the Heralds has encouraged many members to obtain their degrees in the fields of theology and philosophy, and thus to endow the academic institutes with a teaching body prepared to work in the different institutions. The Cooperators Branch of the Heralds was formed for a more effective evangelization of families. They are married or single people who live out the charism of the Heralds in their daily life. Special formation courses are offered to them. Finally, for all the baptized who so desire, the heralds offer theology courses, preparation courses for the consecration to Mary, and catechism for adults, generally at the request of parishes. Today, a multitude of people desire to receive catechisms, spiritual guidance, support, counsel, but it's important to be present everywhere and in every place. To supply for this need, the Heralds make use of the most modern means of communication. The monthly magazine, Heralds of the Gospel, which has a circulation of more than a million copies, is published in four languages, Portuguese, Italian, Spanish, and English. Mass mailing is widely used to bring people often fallen away from church life, messages of peace and catechetical and devotional material. The arrival of this mail often marks the beginning of a journey of conversion to Christ or a means of providential consolation. Furthermore, the heralds seek to have a very active presence on the internet. Herald's TV, the news agency Gaudium Press, and many other internet sites in different languages contribute to their effort of evangelization in the digital age. 
One of the most promoted evangelical activities of the Heralds is the Marian Mission. The Statue of the Immaculate Heart of Mary of Fatima, accompanied by Heralds of the Gospel, visits parishes throughout the world in kindling enthusiasm among the faithful for Mary and her son Jesus. The Pilgrim Statue of the Blessed Virgin visits homes, hospitals, workplaces, schools, and youth groups. Processions, vigils, recitation of the rosary, and other acts of popular piety or catechism are also organized. Within the scope of the Marian Mission, the Apostolate of the Shrine is another initiative of the Heralds of the Gospel, aiming to cooperate with the bishops and priests in a renewal effort through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Interest in evangelization thus allows families to further participate in the ecclesial life of their parishes. The Apostolate of the Shrine essentially consists in the formation of groups of 30 families who receive a Shrine of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in their home one day of each month. On this day, family members can read a passage of the Gospel together, followed by a few moments of reflection, recite a rosary, and an act of consecration of the family to the Heart of Jesus through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The Pope has recently blessed this initiative on the 15th anniversary of its foundation, while offering congratulations for the good ecclesial seed sown through the Shrine Apostolate. The Holy Father entrusts participants to the Blessed Virgin, who shelters and gathers them under her mantle. Moved by the material necessities of our needy and marginalized brethren, the Herald started the Mercy Fund, raising donations for charitable, educational and social initiatives requiring financial resources, always at the request of the local bishop. It is in fact the Via Pulchritudinus, indicated many times by the recent Magisterium, which is the appropriate means to foster the beauty of Revelation and the Church among today's men and women. The heralds seek through the arts to place at the disposition of all, poor and rich, the irresistible attraction of the truth. Music Painting Theater Sculpture and architecture are very efficacious instruments to offer a foretaste of the happiness of the heavenly Jerusalem inviting each one to live in hope without neglecting created realities seeking to transform them into the light of the faith. 